Okay, good afternoon, good, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to uh, Ina Mishnah, Mishnah Shvi'as Parakas. We're going to deal with Mishnah Hay today. A nosen labayer, a labal, a sabar, a pasapan. You can't use zmei shvi'as, meaning money that's kedusha shmita, shmita. You exchange the money for peros shvi'as, so the money the kedusha goes on to the money also. Doesn't leave the peros. You can't use that money as kedusha shmita. You can't use it to dig a well. Even though you're going to get water at the end for that well. Can't use it to 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 go to a spa and tell the guy to heat up the water in the spa. Vidola sapar, you can't get a haircut with that money. You can't give it to a sapar, a captain of a ship. Pay your fare on a cruise ship, on Norwegian. If you want to go on a carnival. Um, I will notice who the buyer lishtos. But if you stipulate you're doing it, digging the well in order to get water to drink, you're allowed to do that. If you do it as a gift, you don't say I'm paying you with this. I'm just giving you a gift. The guy knows, he understands what you're saying to him is, you know, because you're giving me a gift, I deserve to let you come on my ship, I deserve to give you a haircut, so that's okay. What's the Asbur in this Mishnah? I've explained before that the purpose of Shemitah is sabbatical, um, and you're supposed to take a vacation, so why can't you do this thing? You get a haircut, you need to get a haircut, I mean, it makes you look good, you need to go on a cruise ship, it's a vacation, why can't you do it? You need a well to drink water. The idea is that uh, the Torah wanted to ensure that you're getting direct hana, direct hana, direct enjoyment from Pirashvis. Vacation, you can take a vacation and not enjoy it. I heard one guy he say he hates going on vacation. It's like you go on vacation and you feel like you have to be happy. I mean, like it forces you to be happy. I don't know what he means. I mean, usually you go to a nice vacation, you are happy. He forced himself to be happy. He's not a happy person. But anyway, um, it, it doesn't it doesn't bring direct happiness. I talked about this a lot of that true wealth is when you're able to convert whatever assets you have into direct happiness. Uh, you have to buy the right foods, eat the right foods. You know, there's a lot of things that go into enjoyment. Having a lot of money in your bank account doesn't make you rich. It's the ability to take that money and to convert it into positive enjoyment. That is what real wealth is. And that's what the Torah wants you to do during a vacation. It wants you to convert it. So if I drink a well, if I dig a well, you know, it's gonna take a while before I get the water, I mean it could take months. You know, it's, I'm not directly getting it. I buy water, right? If I buy water with my shoes, I don't believe anywhere that's a problem. I think that's what Misha says over here. If you give money and you stipulate, I want you to dig a well and give me a club of glass of water with it, so that's direct. You're getting your water. You buy my shoes, you buy fruits in the store. You're allowed to do that. You're getting direct hana. But all these things, making getting a haircut, I mean, you might like nice in the mirror, but it's not a direct hana. Um, a cruise ship, right? Going on a cruise is not necessarily beneficial. You have to have the food on the cruise, the activities on the cruise, um, the experiences on the cruise. It's not direct hana. It's not direct hana. Uh, if you do a matnaskinam, or you give it to him as a gift, so the reason that's allowed, even though it's not a direct hana, is because it makes you, it is direct hana because it makes you feel like a wealthy person, right? You go to, to, the, to the cruise uh, company and you say, yeah, I'm giving you a nice gift, you know, thousands of dollars over here. You feel like a wealthy guy, and interestingly enough, you know that spending money, being able to spend money, and not being a kamsan, being someone who's very too frugal with your money, being able to throw around money, it's a great feeling. I mean, it makes you feel rich also. That's one of the ways, direct, it's a direct, no, throw around money makes you feel rich. To not care about your money actually directly makes you feel rich, besides the actual things that you buy with your money. So that's what the mission is saying. It has to be a direct, no, it can't be uh, something, things that are even it's not necessarily businesses you're going to get something out of it but you're not getting any direct kind of direct wealth out of it direct vacation out of it that's the mission says i hope you enjoyed today's year see you on moze shavuos everyone everyone has a great shavuos and they eat as much cheesecake as they possibly can because what else is shavuos for except for eating cheesecake right see you on moze shavuos bye